Hey guys, today we will be unboxing the SHB5500. They are made by Philips. So, uh, let's talk about the specs. So, um, they have 32 millimeter high, high intensity drivers delivering clear and powerful bass, even though 32 millimeter drivers don't sound that big compared to other ones. We'll have to, we'll have to see the sound quality, but they're wireless. So that's cool. Um, the power power button. Then we have the the plus and the minus button for volume. And it says standby time is 200 hours. Talk time is nine hours. Play time is nine hours. Range is 15 meters. Gives you a low battery warning. Digital noise and echo reduction is yes. Um, it does have a microphone which is pretty cool so if you're on the phone you can just have a built-in microphone hopefully it's pretty good um, it says it comes with the USB charging cable and obviously the headphones and it's compatible with all those might not be compatible with Apple though it doesn't have that sticker okay so let's uh, open it up Think we need a knife? Yes, we do. Okay, there we go. Let's open that up. Oh, okay. What is this? Uh, so it shows you how to put them on, and it says continuous use at full op output might damage hearing. That is a good point. That's why I only keep my headphones on 50% or less volume because it can damage your ears. So, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so of course, you know, the the cord to charge it says it was included. It looks pretty cheap actually, but probably works. Let's see what this is. Okay. Got some instructions, cardboard box. That's just all that behind me. Yeah, warnings, quick start guide. Yep, yada yada. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else in the box. Just the headphones. So let's open these up. Looks like they don't give you like a a box or a bag with them. They just put put them in this weird, not weird, but just like this case plastic thing kind of see them through the bag Phillips Oops. the back just says warning don't eat it obviously okay huh that's interesting so these look like there's a whole bunch of lines on them these are very light um, this is plastic these are plastic it's mostly plastic but what can you complain? They were only forty dollars at Target. Uh, Bluetooth stereo head headset headphones. Yeah, Philips sign, Philips uh, logo, the call, play, and pause button. I'm guessing you can use Siri with that. I don't know. The plus and minus volume button. Then for charging, the charging port. So let's turn these on and see if they have any battery in the package if they pre-charge them. Let's see. Oh, it looks like the it's blinking. I'm guessing that means pair with the phone or something. I got the iPhone 7, so you know you know why I got these. <laughs> so let's try pairing it with this. Go to our Bluetooth, turn it on. Oh, it's weird. It's not focusing right. Okay. Um, it's searching for devices. Let's see if anything pops up. Kind of see that. Uh, it's not finding anything. Come on. That's really strange. Let me try pressing the button. Okay. It doesn't look like that did anything. Let's see if it'll search for them again. Uh, 
let's see if we can turn them off. Oh, a white light came on and then it's not doing anything. Let's try turning it back on. I heard a little beep, so I guess it beeps when you turn it on and off. Um, what the heck? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's finding it. Um, let's look at the manual real quick. Probably should have done that at the beginning of the video. Um, <clears throat> okay, so on and off button, music control, LED, microphone, charge the battery, no, turn on, press and hold for one second, turn the headphones off, four seconds, pair headphones with your phone. Make sure your headphones are turned off. Uh, press and hold button until an alternating blue and white light flashes. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. So let's turn them off. White light made a little beeping sound. Now let's hold it until a blue and white light comes on. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. Blue and white light. Now let's see if it uh, shows up. Oh, immediately shows up Philips SHB 5500s. Let's pair it, see if it any makes any noise. Uh, I thought I heard a little beep. I don't know. Okay, so it's not show. Oh, it's blinking. Kinda, every once in a while. So let's try putting on a song or something. Hmm, what should I put on? Hmm. Let's go to Pandora, see whatever song it plays. Pandora, you know. Hopefully I don't get copyright. Uh, today's best hits, if we can find it. Today's hits radio, okay. Don't want to know. That was... was the knight in shining armor in your I don't know if you can hear that. Doesn't sound very loud. Kinda does. Okay, let me try them on and I'll, I'll tell you what they sound like. Okay, I think that's how you put them on. Uh, let's adjust this. Bands. Oh, wow. They actually sound uh, pretty good. Nice mids, treble. Slightly, not not a lot of bass, but you can still kind of kind of get the feeling of it if you want the bass feeling. But surprisingly, they sound really good. Um, with them on your ears, you don't really need that high of a volume. They go up pretty high, and uh, it sounds pretty high when they're on your ears. But um. They sound really good. Um, yeah, so this is like, doesn't feel like leather. It feels like that cheap plastic or something. They usually put on cheap headphones, but it's still comfortable. Uh, these feel cheap though, but they sound pretty good. And they're Bluetooth, so not bad. Would I recommend these for $40? Um, I would recommend looking at other headphones first. Look at those reviews, see what they say about them. And then if, if you like these better, what I described to you, then go ahead and get these. I mean, if you always don't like them and you buy them from like Target or Walmart or whatever, you can always return them, so. I hope you liked my review. Hopefully I can get my camera to autofocus next time. 
because that's a bummer that it didn't do it. But yeah, thank you. Models popping bottles. Hey!